Uh, I am your friend, Dr. Charles uh, Pokey. I want to talk about financial intelligence in retirement or old age. Financial intelligence is the wisdom, understanding and knowledge how to do the following M's of money. M number one, to make money. M number two, to multiply money. M number three, to maintain money. M number four, to manage money. M number five, to generate momentum with money. We'll take time to explain this in other videos. As you get older, realize that if you are not careful, the amount of money coming into your hand might be drastically reduced after retirement or in old age. You might not have the strength to hustle like as you used to hustle. Number two, to take care of yourself. The cost of taking care of yourself increases. Like the cinnamon tea I drink, the ginger tea I used to mix it, they are quite expensive. If you don't have a stable income, it will be difficult for you to maintain that. The next thing is that with inflationary trends, your retirement benefit will reduce in value unless you invest it somewhere where it can produce money. The next thing is that don't depend on people, please. Don't place your hope on children that you trained. A lot of them that you trained might still be unemployed. Even if they have children and um, they are married, they have a lot of stress and challenges in this dispensation. So don't put your hope on them. Like as I said in my video, every person changes after the age of 65. So number one, don't go and build a big accommodation in the village. A village house that is not a composite house where you can do production. Somebody in the in a, in a Newe, he built a house, it produces polythene, produces water, and the, the house is close to his church, maybe he donated the land to the church. The same generator that powers his house, powers the church, so he leaves his house, goes to church, comes back. While he is in church, the business is growing. So, unless you are going to have a productive unit in your house in the village, don't go and spend so much money building a big house in the village. You will just be there alone with your wife. You will just be there alone with your wife. Your children might not come to live there. And that kind of investment is just like, um, will I say, non-living money. So if you, must, if you must build a house in the village, let it be a small house with large space where you can do things, walk around, farm, do whatever, but don't build a big house in the village. If you have resources, put your resources in things that can generate revenue in a short while. One of the things you must never do is to do contract in retirement. If you do contract in retirement, you take a loan to go and do a contract and there is delay in payment, it might kill you. Your blood pressure will go up. You'll be going to offices to go and wait for small children that most probably were in primary school when you were a graduate. Don't do contracts in old age unless you are doing consultancy. Consultancy, they pay you. The next thing is that don't go into transportation in old age. Don't ever try it. I have several vehicles and I have a lot of drivers. I have close to seven drivers. It is easier to manage demons than to manage drivers. If you bind demons, they remain bound. If you bind a driver, he will lose himself. They will steal your, pet, your, your fuel. They will sell your parts. They will do all kinds of things. Crazy fellows, please don't go into transportation. Somebody retired and they just told him if he could buy uh, a trail, um, uh, trailers to be doing haulage that they would do it. 
he went and bought, I think he bought two or three at the same time. He did not know that they would need to change all the tires of the trailers, the, the trucks that were imported as second hand from Europe. To change those tires was a lot of money. And before you know it, he went to put his house on um, uh, to, up, as collateral to obtain a loan. The vehicles were always breaking down. The drivers were doing all kinds of things, stealing diesel. He couldn't pay back the loan. They seized his house. He packed into one room or there, like something like that. His wife left him, and I'm sure he died a painful death. So don't go into haulage or transportation. In old age, your blood pressure will go up. I had I told my wife that. I was closing down the school bus system. She insisted. I left everything for her. And I told her, don't ever tell me anything about those vehicles. So I don't hear anything about those vehicles. Because I want peace of mind. You must have noticed that in all my videos, peace of mind, peace of mind. So don't go into transportation business. Don't go into risky businesses. Businesses, they will just tell you, if you do this, you do that. If you do this, so so will come. Old age is not when you practice jumping over a fence. You sustain a fracture, your bones won't heal. So be very, very careful in old age. I also will let you know that it is not wise to use the money you are supposed to enjoy your retirement to go into politics. If you fail, <laughs> If you fail, particularly in Nigeria, even if you win, they might do abracadabra. If you somersault in politics, it's very difficult to recover. Very difficult to recover. So I will cancel you. Don't go into politics in old age. And manage your finances in such that you reduce your expenditure. You leave a minimalist life. Use solar energy so that you won't need to go and be pulling generator in old age. It will save you energy, it will save you stress, it will save you the cost of buying a petrol all the time. And the maintenance cost is very low eventually. Then, if you must do real estate, okay, I'll teach you about real estate on the, on the, on the 9th of March. I will leave that one. When you register, by sending a message to plus two three four seven zero five two one three six seven six three i'll teach you about real estate in old age i remain your friend dr charles apoki god bless you remember to subscribe to this channel share these videos and then um, Support this channel. This chair was brought by a bishop. These clothes were bought by people. The lamp, the stand I'm using here was sent from America. I think I am doing a good work. I think I am doing a good work. If you are not my friend, I'm my friend. I think I'm doing a good work. Support this channel to grow and be partner with us in all that we are doing. God bless you.